number one reason why people are typically going into the hospitals or going to their doctor is because of gut issues or digestive issues. One of the statistics that I found very interesting was that 50 to 90% of patients with irritable bowel syndrome also experience anxiety and depression. Okay, so it shows us how closely related the gut and the brain are related. And that's really important because a lot of those neurotransmitters that keep us happy, that keep us balanced, like serotonin, 90% of it is made in the gut, okay? So it's not only important to our digestive health, it's also important to our cognitive health as well too. So let's jump into some of those things or signs and symptoms that could indicate that you have an unhealthy gut, that you're not, probably not you know, associating with the fact that my gut is unhealthy and I need to really do something about it. So number one, a foul smelling bowel movement, a foul smelling bowel movement. Your, your bowel movements aren't supposed to smell so bad that you got to spray, shut the door and no one can go in there for 45 minutes. So that's an indication that you have digestive issues because the food is taking a long time to transit which means that it's rotting and fermenting, and that's what's creating the smell, or quite possibly you have so many uh, bad bugs as opposed to good bacteria in the stomach that they're creating their own toxins that also creates the smell, okay? So foul-smelling bowel movements, okay? Number two, migraines. Especially if you're having some nausea and vomiting, that could also be an indication that you have an unhealthy gut as well too. New food allergies, like these allergies you didn't have in the past, you could eat the food, you had no problem. Then all of a sudden you have all of these new food allergies. It could be a sign and symptom that you have an unhealthy gut as well too. Sleep problems, okay? Sleep problems could also be a sign and symptom that you have an unhealthy gut where you're waking up in the middle of the night or you go to sleep and you can't stay asleep, okay? Also unintentional weight loss or weight gain especially when you see those fluctuations. That could be a sign and symptom that you have an unhealthy gut, chronic fatigue where you're tired all the time, gas and bloating, of course, uh, we associate with a gut issue. Also skin irritations or skin blemishes or eczema, um, a lot of acne on the skin. That is a sign and symptom that the gut is trying to push toxicity out because the skin is the largest elimination organ in the body and the body will quite often use it as a pathway to get rid of toxins and to get rid of waste, okay? And most people have between 10 and 25 pounds of undigested food sitting, rotting, and fermenting in their gut. Acid reflux, of course, could be a sign and symptom that you have an un unhealthy gut. It is not only could be, it is a sign and symptom that you have an unhealthy gut as well. And that acid reflux is going to lead to larger problems as well, okay? Autoimmune conditions. And you're probably thinking, if I got lupus or I got Hashimoto's, how's that connected to the gut? Well, leaky gut syndrome is what is at the foundation of most, most autoimmune conditions, okay? Constipation or runny stools. Also a sign and symptom that you have an unhealthy gut. Constant colds or infections. And the reason why is because 80%, roughly 80% of our immune system is made and manufactured in our gut, okay? So when you have... A unhealthy gut, you're going to have an unhealthy immune system, which means you're going to have more infections, more colds. You'll have a cold during the summertime, even when you don't need to have a cold, okay? Also, sugar cravings, sign of an unhealthy gut as well, because you could have parasites, you could have yeast growing in the body, okay? And those things will say you want sugar. They will control you. They will literally hijack your taste buds, okay? Also, an inability to concentrate because you got to remember, the gut is called the second brain, okay? So it not only affects your digestive health, but food affects your mood as well. Thanks for watching this video, but be sure to check this next video out that's right here.